You ready to get into this? Yes. All right, bet. Well, check this out. Hey, the black market is open. The black market is open. The black markets. Well, I want to start taking my ring this bell to let them know that the black market is open. Did you know that? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So they'll know. Yeah. That we own. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Welcome to the to the trap slash black market. Thank you. 85 for South me. Show presents the black market. You know, it's to highlight and spotlight some people doing some positive things in our community that we feel like people need to know more about. Introduce yourself to our audience. All right. Well, my name is Angelita Potts. I'm actually uh, AKA known as Mama Chopper. Mama Angelita. Chopper. Angelita Chopper Mama. <laughs> So that's what you're known as, Mama Chopper. Yeah. I seen you in here rapping all the lyrics to all the hardest songs. <laughs> I said, who yeah. is this lady right here? He said, that's my mom. I said, ain't no way. Yeah, I'm you a zoning one out. fan. I have to say that. So clearly you've gotten involved in the music industry. Yeah, I had no choice at the time. What, how did you, how did it happen since you had no choice? Um, he started out, I wasn't too fond of it at first. Cause you know, I, like, he, I think he told you before that he was uh, starting out being an athlete. Right. And he started rapping. I was like, ooh, cause it's kind of rough, you know, for right. me. Um, he ended up calling me one day. I was like, Ma, they, uh, they, the labels are hitting me. I said, boy, ain't nobody calling you. Click, and I hung up. <laughs> he called me back. Ma, don't you hang up this phone. I was like, what? I gotta go to work. He was like, no, we got to go to L.A. I said, I said, no, I'll call you dad. I'm not going to L.A. Click. He called back. And he was like, Mom, I'm telling you, like, this is for real. Because I, I thought he was playing on my phone because he normally I always try to joke on me all the time. Y'all know he a jokester. And um, he this is the third time where he called. He called with uh, one of the people on the phone. And I was like, oh. I'm like, who are you? So I'm on the computer looking it up. I was like, oh, okay. They're like, well, we need to fly. We wanted to fly out just to have a meeting to see. And I was like, damn, for real? <laughs> and they was like, yeah. So I was like, okay. And we jetted off to California and it started on January 6, 2019. So clearly you know what you're doing. Cause yeah. I heard you just launched a YouTube page that got 20,000 subscribers. Lost it? That just launched, like oh, you just started it. I thought you said lost, I was like, no, they lost it. No, you yeah. just started a YouTube page. I had page. like, uh, <laughs> we, um, I started out like with, I think it was 200 and something, and it went to 300, and then when I dropped a few videos, uh, it went to like 22,000 mm. in like a few days. I think one video I did, I did a prank on uh, on shopping, it's already at like 382,000 views within like 11 or 12 days. So is that something you're interested in then, like creating some more media and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, I like, I like doing that. Yeah. Did that, I did a few reaction videos. We gotta get like some that. reaction. You gotta react to some of this stuff over here on 85 South. I sure will. Because we got some clips. <laughs> I am there. So how has this journey been for you? Since you know this is something, it's not your, your, your natural feel, something right. that you kind of just, not, like you said, um, it just happened. But I guess management is, because I've owned my own business for over 25 years now. Yeah. Which so, business? Uh, I do taxes. Uh, it be consulting services. And Ooh. I also, um... Boy, you gotta get them taxes right. Yeah. Got to. Hey, man, it's Clayton English. Look, if you out there, if you hairy, you smelling crazy, get yourself manscaped. Get yourself taken care of. You tired of striking out with the ladies? Maybe start with the way you smell. Manscaped has refined body wash. Fellas, ladies love their signature scent. 
keep the grooming game going with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball, deodorant, crop reviver, toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxers and the shared travel bag. Manscaped is a part of my self-care routine and the results have worked wonders. All right, we got a special offer for all listeners. Get 20% off free shipping with the code Black Market at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code Black Market at manscaped.com. Keep your balls trimmed, fresh and clean with Manscaped. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's another thing. Uh, my clients have been asking me to do that for years now. And I suppose I had a class and then I would get busy because, like I said, I own, uh, I also do real estate. Okay. So I own a lot of property, so I kind of like trying to manage all these different um, businesses I have. How's the market for you right own, now? So, in the middle of all this chaos. I'm good. I'm good from, <laughs> yeah, you got to learn how to, <laughs> I told you, you got to learn how to manage it out. So when a lot of people, when, when this pandemic hit, a lot of people was like, I was, Prepared. I was straight. I was straight, so I always listened to, there's one thing my brother always taught me from I was a child, save your money, save your money, save your money. And I said, dog, if I keep saving my money, when will I spend it? He said, you'll know when the right time for you to spend it. Yeah. And I always took that to heart and ran with it. And he mm. was right. I love it. Yep. I see you iced out today. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit. No, it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Good. Hell yeah. I love to see it, man. It's all about black prosperity, mm -hmm. you know, and breaking these generational curses. Yeah, trying to. Just keeping, keeping everybody around you on the, on the right path and trying to um, make sure everybody learns the stability on, on on their finances. Yeah. Like you got to, you got to get that nip in the bud. It's, it's money hard to come by. How you separate the mom from the manager? Uh, I can do it easily. On the other hand, it's not so easy for him. Cause it's, and I understand cause you know, my mom actually worked for me. So I had to figure that out too. So, um, a lot of times you just have to, I have to learn how to step back on certain stuff or not be as aggressive on certain stuff. So it kind of helped to, to balance it out and then kind of sharing some of the workload so it won't, so you won't have to see me or, you know what I'm saying? That gets me all the time that you, that you see or that's in your face or it has something to say. I will always have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Well, you know, you always gonna have something to say. That's yeah. mom, though. Yeah. So do you, do you give the professional advice and then the mom advice separate? Correct. Mm. You have to. Bro I've always known the difference between business and personal. Yeah. But it's just the other people that's reciprocating it has to know the difference as well. But that's with growth. Well, that's a lot of trust right there, because it's, you know, especially dealing with the industry, sometimes you have to say no. It's hard as hell to say no to your mama. <laughs> or, or have to send your mama to tell these people no. Tell I them have, I don't want to do it. I have no problem with telling anybody no. <laughs> See, that <laughs> might, that's probably one of the benefits. Because <laughs> they have realized I'm not a rapper, so I have no problem with telling you no at all. And everybody around me be like, oh, ain't you a little too blunt? Well, how do you manage honest. to keep all of these industries going at the same time? You know, that's a good question. I be wondering that the same. I be wondering that myself. It's, 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 it's hard, but I guess, I don't know, for some reason, it's, it's some people just built for it. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, right here in my side notes, it say you already got all two college degrees and you got consulting services and investment service and artist management and entertainment and... Yeah, 
I'm working it. I'm working at that. Well, actually, when I leave here, I'm going back to do these taxes. My clients, been, they've been waiting. I mean, they patient, and they love me. What you know? kind of advice would you give to the ladies out there who might need just to hear something to be inspired right now? Man. Who got it on their mind and just, they just need a little confirmation? You need to keep working hard. Hard work pays off. If you got a good team, like I tell people all the time, there is no I in team. Like I'm a team player. Right. And I got I got I, re, I got a really good team uh, back home. Got uh, a niece. She runs my my rental stuff for me now. Uh, one of my good friends. Uh, she helps out with the the tax information. Um, got two of my other um, friends that work that does. Uh, they work on the properties themselves. So it's it's all about having a having a strong, good team and people that you can trust. Let me ask you this. What is the most common mistake that you see people making with taxes, with their taxes? With their own taxes? With their own taxes. Not paying their taxes. <laughs> First Meaning of all. you working and <laughs> you you thinking that um you, <laughs> you're working, but you say it's your money, but you still gotta pay Uncle Sam. So you can't make fifty thousand dollars and pay in two hundred dollars in taxes, and then wonder why you owe. Right. You know, because eventually they're gonna put a, a tax block on you. You don't want them to put no tax block on you. Just might as well just go on to pay your taxes. You gotta pay it anyway. Get it over with. Get it over with. Well, where can they find you and get in touch with you and all of that type of stuff? Uh, they can find me at Angelita Potts on uh, on IG or Mama Chopper on YouTube or hmm, I don't want to give out my number because no, don't you crazy. can't <laughs> you can't you can't begin that your number on here now. Look me up, look me up. You'll find me not hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> But you are, you still available to do business with, right? Like yes. People ain't gonna be like, oh, she got all this. She might not want to hear this. And... You know, a lot, a lot of people um, think that, but I still got quite a few clients. Yeah. Other business taxes, all that. Okay. Well, I wish you nothing but success. And... I appreciate that. Uh oh, we got questions from the crowd. I'm shocked. So how has life changed for you as far as getting busy? I see you a hustler already. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta get out here and get it. And he, he's well rounded. He's young, but he's like ahead of his time. Right. So he should be. Job. Great job. Thank you. Um, I basically, my whole goal is to get him to the next level, and to the next level, and to the next level, and. You can only do that by listening and paying attention. You know what I'm saying? And you have to have a good foundation of people around you. You can't have a lot of yes, yes people around you. Like I said, I'm the number one no person in, in the whole group. Like, no, don't do that. They just be like, look, this is how it's got to be. Because if not, you mess up the you you know you mess you mess up your career, basically. And you gotta get um, you gotta get people in your circle that are here for you first and not money first. If you're here for money first and then you, that's a dangerous person to be around. That was not who you want on your team. So you pick your team and choose your team wisely. Because if not. They'd be the main person that can snake you, the main person that can get you killed. That's facts. We got another question. Okay. Do you have any uh, financial advice for upcoming artists? Like, what are the moves they can start making you know, from, from the ground floor while they're growing? Yeah. The, the first thing you need to do, like I just said, um, to not, under any circumstances, sign anything without reading it first. I've talked to quite a few, like I had quite a few artists to ask me, they had quite a few artists to send me um, 
copies of their contracts, but that's the number one thing that they don't do is read what they're signing. They I can don't tell understand you all it. day right. what, it, what, it, what it says, you know? But if you don't read it to see it for yourself, they can feed you a bunch of bullshit. And a lot of people do. And, and when you don't know, it's, it's hard. So for instance, if I come to you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, come on, I, I got you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna charge you nothing to do. X, Y, Z, I can get you in this door, that door, this door, that door. And I'm feeding you in and like, yeah, all right, well, come on, I just need you to just sign this, just, you know, just, you know, to use me as your retainer. But I done put all kinds of stuff inside this contract. Now I need 50% of what you, what you getting out of every single thing that you do. Like a lot of people have done that to, to a lot of these artists. And, you know, you hear it all the time. But I just tell people all the time, get, if you don't understand what you're reading and get somebody that you know and trust that does, find you an entertainment lawyer. You gotta do your research. Don't just take the first thing coming to you. You know, mm -hmm. shop around. But, and then if, if they forcing you to do it right then, you know that's that's the first sign of no. Don't, don't do Free it. Free shit costs too much. Yeah, <clears throat> and it'll cost you in the long run. Well, that's real. Well, we appreciate you stopping through the black market and putting this game on us with us. You know, gaming us up. Yep. I sell me a house somewhere. I your house. I sure sold some. Uh, you did? I sure did. It was a good time to cash in. I'm looking for me some, <laughs> some ranches and some farmland. I don't have any. I need me a couple hundred acres ducked off with no neighbors. That would be cool. With some hills and some valleys. Cool. Little animals and shit. <laughs> so some animals and yeah. shit? Yeah. <laughs> little animals and shit. Little coyotes and squirrels and things of that oh, nature. I animals like that. I know. But it's, you know, just part of the scenery. Well, this your first time stopping through here, but don't yeah. let it be your last. You know exactly where we are. We're growing. And We're come growing. back for tax season and drop your tax commercial on here. Okay. That's what's up. Now, but I need to know. And Ryan need to know, and Kat, and everybody, we want to know when you're going to be dropping this financial advice. Soon. I'm working on it. I got me a whole little plan to get out. That way, um, it's going to help. I believe it's going to help a lot of people. Put me in I there with it. Is, cause it. When you start all creating the media, that I got, put me in there. All the ones that listened, like, it helped them out a whole lot, either uh, business-wise and uh, personally. We come out with a book called Pay Your Damn Taxes. <laughs> you better. First they go come looking for you. Come looking for your ass. Mm -hmm. Then we could drop another book called Now They Looking For Your Ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one is going to be How the hell I'm going to get out this shit? <laughs> and then we drop one more. Told your ass, didn't I? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Potts, well, I appreciate you stopping through the black market. I appreciate you. Black market is open. <laughs>